Somebody say praise the Lord. They're on. Yeah. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Amen. Come on now.
Just a praise to the King. As the mountains bow down and the seas will roll. Oh, at the Give the Lord praise in the house. Amen. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give.
all see in today's world we want to pick and choose the portion of the word all that we want to surrender see one of the things that's going on today is we we cry out for revival we cry out for revival but guess what we don't want to get rid of all we want to surrender some you want to know why we don't have revival today like the old folks say we used to have? It's because we don't surrender all. We want to take a portion and say, let's have revival as long as it falls into this criteria and I don't have to surrender but some. If you want to see true revival and if I want to see true revival, there's some things that's got to happen. It's called confess and repent. Oh, you already know because God's already speaking to your heart right now through this second song. And the best place, the best place that you can be in is in a point of all and say, God, I'm nothing and you are all. And I'm going to surrender to you. So here's what I want us to do. There's plenty of room in this altar right up here. As we get started this morning, I'm going to ask you to come and I'm going to ask you to ask God to show you the things in your life that you need to surrender to Him. Maybe it's something you're doing that you know you're not supposed to. Maybe it's tobacco. Huh. You might think, well, that's not offending nobody. Well, you might be holding a brother back, amen? Maybe it's the way you talk to somebody. See, the, there's no great sin, no small sin. Sin is sin. So we're going to sing through that song again. And God's placed something on your heart. And if you sit there and say he hadn't placed something on your heart, why don't you get saved and he'll place something on your heart? I'm going to ask you to come and I'm going to ask you to seek God this morning as we sing through this song one more time. And then we're going to see what God's going to do after that point. Amen. So you be obedient. I promise you the crusaders, myself, we're going to be obedient this week. If God tells us to stop in the middle of the service and fall on our face, hello. That's what we're going to do. If he tells us to stop and let's go make a lap around the building, we're going to do it. Whatever he says, we're going to be obedient. Amen? You be obedient this morning, and let's see what God will do. All to Jesus, I surrender. All world. 
forsaken take me Jesus take me now Lord and I surrender Lord we surrender I surrender all Ooh, yes and all to Holy, 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 He 
is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Oh, yes, with all creation I've seen, praise to the King of Kings, Lord. wonders all struck wonders at the mention of your name yes. and Jesus your name is power bring living water such a marvelous thing yeah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Oh, yes, with all creation I sing.
I'm not proud of It seems I've disappointed many in her The ones that I You see, His grace I saw And Jesus, He had mercy And He covered it all and From the east to the west Oh, my sins are from me Oh, and He took all my heart And now I am free Oh, and beauty for ashes And peace for my own Oh, by Jesus He Listen to this verse. Now I, I am living, oh, a brand new life. Cause I free from all the shackles and chains I my mind. And now, now I am. A brand new song of how Jesus saved me and He covered it all. And from the east to the west, old church, my sins are from me. All my heart is, and now I am free. Oh, and beauty for ashes, oh Lord, and peace for my wrong. Oh, but you know that Jesus, He had mercy, and He had. You see that Jesus mm. I was hoping he was going to ask me He said go ahead and tell him why I can sing this song See, a lot of y'all don't know But this is all I've ever done Let's go from church to church to sing To play the drums, to present the gospel See, but just because you're in church Doesn't mean you're saved Yeah. You can sing, you can preach You can lead people to Christ You can write songs about Jesus I was somebody that wrote songs that could tell you about Jesus, that, that knew Jesus, but I didn't know Jesus. See, I knew him here, but I didn't know him here. See, at the age of nine, I came home from BBS one night, and I told Dad, I said, Dad, I want to do what my friends were doing. He said, okay, so he led me into prayer like he was supposed to do. But I didn't do what I was supposed to do. See, I did it here, but I didn't do it here. See, there's a difference in thinking you're saved and knowing. See, I thought I was saved. And because of a change in Ashley's life, she got saved while we were dating. But because of a change in her life after I seen that she got saved, I accepted Jesus. I realized I was lost. Even though I was in church every time the door was open, I could tell you about Jesus. But I was going to bust hell wide open because I was lost. It doesn't matter what you are, what you've done, who you are. God wants you. God will forgive you from... 
all your sins. And I can sing that song now because I know that I said to Jesus. Because the second verse says, now I'm living a brand new life. And I'm free from all the shackles and chains of my mind. And now I'm singing a brand new song of how Jesus saved me and he covered it all. See, he covered my sins as far as the east is from the west. He covered your sins and your saved. As far as the east is from the west, or from us never to be remembered. See, but before I got saved, I was worried about what people were going to think about me. I was like, well, I'll do it when we get home. Well, we were gone 300 days last year. We weren't home. I just put my, I would put my salvation off because I was worried about what people in the church would think about me. See, it doesn't matter what people in the church think about you because if they're thinking bad about you, they probably need to be down there with you. Yeah. And, and if you're worried about what somebody at your house is going to think, don't. Because like me, they might see that change and accept Jesus. Don't be worried about what your fr- friends are going to think because if they're friends, they're going to stick with you no matter what. But I was worried about what people were going to think about me. We almost had a head-on collision in that bus last year. And I would have died and went to, went to hell because I was worried about what people were going to think about me. It doesn't matter. But see, February the 22nd, Ashley had came back from college when she was in college. And me and her, Dad said we weren't fighting. We were just having an intense moment of fellowship. And she looked at me. She said, what's going on with you? I said, I'm tired. She said, what do you mean you're tired? I said, I'm lost. She went, whoa. What do you mean you're lost? This is last year. I said, I'm going to go to hell. She said, hold on, hold on. So she went, got mom and dad and Steve and they all came in the living room and sat down. And dad looked at me. He said, what's going on, John? I said, dad, I'm lost. He said, what do you mean you're lost, John? He said, I led you in that prayer when you were nine. I said, dad, you led me, but God did. See, there's a foot difference between heaven and hell. There's head knowledge and heart knowledge. If you have it here and not here, you're going to bust hell wide open. And I was going going to. He looked at me. He said, okay, John. He said, how do you know you're lost? I said, okay. I said, Dad, it's like looking out the window. I said, you can see the trees blowing, but you can't feel the wind. I said, God would be moving all around me, but I couldn't feel them because I never asked that was February the 22nd. February the 21st, we were out of prison. And 48 men got saved. People were getting healed. People were getting right. People were getting saved. And I told Dad, I said, Dad, it was an awesome service, but Dad, I was just up there with a the mic standing. And that was it. I wasn't feeling nothing. I wasn't feeling nothing. I was just there. Doing the same old same. I was just standing there. That was it. God was moving all around me. The wind was blowing. But I couldn't feel it. He looked at me. He said, well, what do you want to do about it? I said, well, I want to be saved. He looked at me. He said, well, what are you waiting on? It was like he was saying, you don't have to have permission. I said, nothing. February the 22nd, last year, I knelt down, a good person at our house. I knelt down a good person that could tell you about Jesus, that could present the gospel, could sing songs about Jesus, knew Jesus, and I came up with saved person. See, I don't have to doubt my salvation because I know. Maybe you're like me and you're doubting your salvation like I did. You don't have to. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be worried about what people think about you. Because see, last year we seen 605 people saved because they weren't going to be worried about what people thought. Because it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, because we've seen a 97-year-old man get saved. To teenagers, to 97-year-old man say, so that pretty much covers it all. Don't be worried about what people are going to think about you. Because I was. And I almost died because I was worried about what people were going to think about me. And I would have busted hell wide open. But if you're doubting or if you know you're lost, don't leave here without getting right. Don't even wait. I guarantee you, if you come down, there'll be somebody to, to meet you. I guarantee you that. But listen to the message of the second verse. Now I 
I am living a brand new life Cause I'm free from all the shackles and chains I might find Oh, but now I am singing a brand new song of how Jesus saved me and he covered Sins are from me, oh, and he took all my heart and now I am free, oh, and beauty for ashes and peace for my wrong, oh, but you know that. Jesus, He had mercy, and He covered in all. Oh, and church, beauty for ashes, and peace for my home. But Jesus. You see that he had mercy. Oh, and Jesus, he had mercy on you. You see that Jesus, he had mercy and he. See, you may be sitting there and being just like John. Jonathan had been in more churches at the age of 19 than most folks spend in a lifetime. And if going to church would have saved you, guess what? He'd have been saved. You may be standing right now and you may be looking out the window. And when he told me that, that... That day, I, I, man, I can, I can remember. It's 11.48 that morning, Friday morning, February the 22nd. And he said, Daddy, it's like looking out the window. And you see the wind blowing, but you can't feel it. I believe with all of my heart, somebody's looking out the window right now. I'm going to invite you to open that window and let the breath of God breathe on you. See, he's waiting on you right now. See, you don't have to be worried. See, a lot of folks say, well, I'm going to clean up my life and then I'm going to come to God. Well, it don't work that way. You can't clean a fish before you catch it. Hello? When you accept him and you surrender to him, then the process begins because you begin to empty yourself and say, God, I need more of you in my life. And you don't have to be worried about what other people think. See, Satan's telling you right now, you don't have to do it right now. They're going to have revival this week. You can come back tomorrow night. Don't listen to Satan. The Bible says that now is the appointed time. Today is the day of salvation. It's of the, mo the most importance. We don't know what's going to happen this afternoon. They're predicting strong storms. We live in Tornado Alley, amen? Y'all know what I'm talking about. We don't know. If I could scare you, I'll scare you right now, but they don't work that way. I just want to get real with you. I want you to understand that eternity is a long, 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 and it continues time. And my friend, if you depart this world, 
If you depart this world without Jesus, you are bound for a devil's hell. No two ways about it. There ain't no such thing as purgatory. Hello? Ain't nobody going to pray you out of a neutral spot. When Jesus cried out from the cross, it is finished. He finished everything and all you got to do is accept Him as your Lord and your Savior and ask Him to come into your life and to forgive you of your sins and say, Lord, I need you. And guess what? He says, if you confess me before men, I'm going to confess you before my Father. Come on, give the Lord praise in the house. So right now, we ain't done with this portion but I'm going to tell you where we're at right now. I promised you this at the beginning. Then now we're going to be obedient. Right now. If you're here and you've never accepted Jesus. And you've realized it. That there's some things in your life that's missing. You felt like, oh, well I've been in church. I've gone to church. I've got 14 Bibles at home. They're stacked up. I, I even, I even, uh, the radio is on on Caleb all the time. See, all that stuff is wonderful, but my friend, that don't save you. It's Jesus that'll save you. And then when, that, when you get saved, guess what? All that, the things that we do will mean so much more to you. Ask these kids. Ask them at lunch how much more since they've got saved that Jesus means to them. My friend, have you met him? Have you met him? as your Lord and as your Savior. Not that you know His name. See, there's a lot of people that are going to say in that day, but Lord, we, Lord, I taught Sunday school. That ought to do something. But Lord, I, I drove that nice church van and went and picked up all them kids. But Lord, I even went up and I, I worked on the church. Shouldn't that amount to something? And He's going to say, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Because until you meet Him personally in your life and you ask Him to come in and be your Lord and your Savior and you ask Him to forgive you of your sins and save you, guess what? You're lost until that point. See, you can't get in on your mama's skirt tail or your daddy's coat. Just because grandma was a praying warrior doesn't mean that she's going to drag you into heaven. It doesn't work that way. I just want to be real with you this morning because eternity is long. So right now, right there where you're at, see, he can hear a whisper all the way to heaven because he's listening to your heart. He's, he's tuned in. He's dialed in right now and he's listening for these words. Jesus, I'm lost. Jesus, I believe you died and you rose again. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Jesus, save me. That's what he's listening for. So right there where you're at, if that's you, why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him right now? Right now at 1124. Why don't you ask him right now? All you got to do is bow your head and pray. The Bible says a prayer of faith. That means believing that if you ask him, he'll do exactly what you ask him to do and save you. I'd be honored to lead you in a prayer, but I want you to understand me praying is not going to save you. It's you. It's you. Right now, right there where you're at that's you why don't, why don't you just bow your head and if that's you and you know that the Lord has spoken to you and the Holy Spirit is drawing you right now and he's a knocking and your hearts are running away and you're saying I wish this was over with I wish this was over with why can't we get up and go right now if that's you listen to that still small voice that says open up invite me to come in if that's you pray with me pray with everything that is inside of you believing and say, Dear Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. And Lord Jesus, I'm lost. And I need you. Lord Jesus, I believe you died and you rose again. And right now, you're in heaven. 
Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins and save me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Now I want to live the rest of my life serving you. Now I'm going to ask you something, and I'm going to ask you to take a bold step. If you pray and you ask the Lord to save you right then and you meant business and you're serious about it and you meant business, I'm going to ask you just to get out of your pew and I'm going to meet you right down here and we're going to rejoice. If that's you, come on. Come on right now. Come on. We fall down. We make our crowns at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of your mercy and love at the feet of Jesus. We cry holy, holy, holy. We cry holy, holy, holy. We cry holy, holy, holy. Yes, you are, Lord.
was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieve how precious is thy grace of fear the hour I first believe my chains are gone I've been set free my God, my Savior, has ransomed me like a blood. His mercy reigns an ending love, amazing grace. The earth shall soon dissolve that snow. The sun forbear the shine by God who called me here below will be forever my my chains are gone I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me like a flood, and His mercy reigns an empty love. It's amazing grace. My chains are gone. Oh, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me like a blood. His mercy reigns an empty life, amazing grace.
He's my Lord. There is no other one who can calm the storms of life like my And he gets rest to the very gives new life to the hopeless. There's no doubt about it. He is my Lord. Lord, and He is my Lord. There is no other one who can calm the storms alive like my Lord. And he gets rest to the very gets new life to the hopeless. There's no doubt about it. He is mine. He's my Lord. Oh. There is no other one oh, who can calm the storms of life like my Lord. Oh, like Give the Lord praise in the house. Come on, church. Come on, church. Amen. Well, why don't you just stand up for Jesus? Come on, church. Come on, church. Yes. I'm thankful that we serve a God that's in the saving business. Amen. I'm thankful that we serve a God that's in the restoration business, that's in the healing business, amen? Come on, give Jesus praise this morning. Why don't you just stand up if you love Jesus? Stand up and in a Stand up, tell us all about it. Don't you cherish it? Have you ever had a bad day in the house? I think nothing was going just right. Giving on Jesus, laid down, he will soon find your answer inside. And stand up, oh, if you love Jesus, stand up. Well, I thought I was a human, I thought I knew it all, man, I thought I knew what to do. I thought I was a hero, I wound up a zero, Jesus said you ain't through. Why don't you just stand up, oh, if you love Jesus, stand up.
was a he-man I thought I knew it all Man, I thought I knew what to do I thought I was a hero I wound up a zero Jesus said you ain't through Why don't you just stand up Oh, if you love Jesus Stand up I'm in a fight Stand up Oh, tell us how about it Stand up And say was lost in sin but Jesus he turned me in then a little light from heaven it filled my soul whoa, whoa. well it made my heart I love and it wrote my name my mouth and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right now let have a little talk with Jesus Let us tell them all about our trouble He will hear our greatest cry And He will answer by and by Now when you need a little prayer We'll turn you And you know a little fire is burning You will find a little talk with Jesus Makes it right well, now I may have doubts and fears Cause my eyes be filled with tears yeah, yeah. And Jesus is a friend He watches day and night And I go to Him in prayer Yes, He knows my every care well. And just a little talk with Jesus may now let us have a little talk with Jesus Let us tell him all about our trouble He will hear our faintest cry And he will answer by and by Now when you need a little prayer will turn you And you know a little fire is burning You will find a little talk with Jesus Makes it right Find a little talk with Jesus Makes it right Oh, it makes it right yeah, yeah. Oh, it makes it right yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh. yeah, well, I may have doubts and fears Cause my eyes be filled with tears well. And Jesus is a friend He watches day and night And I go to Him in prayer Yes, He knows my every care And just a little talk with Jesus Makes it a right Let's now let us have a little talk with Jesus Let us tell them all about our trouble He will hear our famous cry And He will answer by and by Now when you need a little prayer will turn you And you know a little fire is burning You will find a little talk with Jesus Makes it right All that second one more time and raise Now let it. us have a little talk with Jesus Let us tell them all about our trouble He will hear our faintest cry And He will answer by and by Now when you need a little prayer will turn you And you know a little fire is burning you will find a little talk with Jesus Makes it a right One more time Now let us have a little talk with Jesus Let us tell him all about our trouble He will hear our faintest cry And he will answer by and by Now we need a little prayer will turn you And you know Talk with 
Jesus made sin arise. Well, now I may have doubts and fears, cause my eyes be filled with tears. And Jesus is a friend, he watches day. Talk with Jesus, let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry, and he will listen by and by. Now, when you need a little prayer, what's turning? And you know a little fire is burning, you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it arise. Sing the chorus. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry, and he will answer by and by. Now we need a little prayer one time, yeah. And you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. And you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Oh, it makes it right. Yeah. Oh, it makes it right. Come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. Come on, Pastor Eva. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Isn't God good? Yes, He is. He is awesome. Amen. I believe we have a revival. <clears throat> My baby was lost. Come on now. But now he's home. Amen. My grandma prayed for me for many years. I got lost out there in that old world. <laughs> One day I came to a place in the road that I found I needed Jesus. I was sitting on the back pew, hiring a cot. Lump in my throat, couldn't swallow it. The altar call was given and I surrendered. That happened in 1994 and I've never regretted it. He saved me. And when he saves you and you mean business, he saves you. Yeah. He's got mighty works. He's raising up an army, guys. He's raising up an army. Those that can reach people that are unreachable. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing two different things here. I'm hoping that y'all's not sticking your, everything in here. These are tithes. These are tithes. These are offerings. This this here is going to go to the group. Okay? These are tithes. These go to the group. This goes this goes to the crusaders. This is tithes. You got to go digging back out. Y'all know this is how it works every time. First tithes, then offerings. First yep. tithes, then offerings. This is tithes. This is offerings. This goes to the crusaders. 
Y'all heard what he said. He said that they were on the road over 300, about 300 days. Takes a lot of money. Y'all finding out it takes a lot of money to run a church. We sitting in heat right now. Well, it takes a lot of money to go down the road. Okay. Uh, Dr. Sandberg caught me at the, uh, at the hospital. I was walking down the hallway. And he asked me how the church was going and everything. And I said, oh, it's going good, doing really good. God's really been pouring the spirit out. He said, well, I hear your air <laughs> He said they, they'd be happy to give their money up. Amen. But God is good. He's brought us a nice breeze. Amen. It, it feels good in here to me. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> Clifford, if I could get you to get that one, and we're just going to, yes, this is off. No, this is tithes, that's offerings. You better stop it. This is tithes, that's offerings. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's just, let's just take them to the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you. We want to praise you. We want to thank you for your mercy, your grace. We thank you that you love us unconditional, Lord. Father, we come before you and we ask you, God, to bless these offerings, these tithes, Lord. Bless the singers, Lord. Bless their RV. Bless, give them good gas mileage where they say there is none, Lord. You're going to give them good, good, good motor, good tires, Lord. Father, we just thank you for allowing us to come in here and worship you, God. We ask you to bless the offering, the tithes. Bless those that gave it. We ask you to bless the food. Make it to the nourishment of our bodies today, God. Take out all the impurities, Father. Take out, bless the hands, Lord, that prepared it. May they always have enough in their storehouse and in their barns and in their fields. Bless us with a continuance of a spiritual outpouring of a revival in this, in this city, in this town, in this nation, Lord. May we give it all to you, God. May we, may, may we be willing to give it to you, Lord. And God, we just want to thank you. We want to honor you today with our tithes and our offerings. We ask you to bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. These are tithes. Amen. Uh, I, I just blessed the food. Um, Brother David, we would like for you guys to go back first. Okay. Now, if you have children, I ask that you fix their plates, please. I, I don't know about anybody else, but my kids have always known how I am. You do, kids don't come in there and fix their own plates. I fix it for you. So, anyway, uh, if you have children, please do that for me. And uh, let the I hope you enjoyed that service. And if God spoke to you during that service and you've realized that you need a Savior and that you're lost and undone, and why don't you call out to the Lord? He's just waiting to hear from you. He already knows, and you know as well as anybody, if the Holy Spirit is drawing you. And right where you're at, you can call upon him. See, God can hear a whisper all the way to heaven from right where you're at because he sees your heart. Why don't you ask him to come in and be your Lord and Savior, to forgive you of your sins? He's waiting on you, but it's something that you have to do. If you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart, then you don't have a personal relationship. But that's what it takes. That's what it takes to know Jesus Christ is a personal relationship. So if that's you and you, you would like to receive Jesus into your heart and start this relationship, I'd ask you to pray with me. But pray in faith, believing that he'll save you. And he says he'll do just that. So why don't you pray with me? Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And I know that you died for me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died and you rose again. And right now, you're in heaven. Lord Jesus, I'm lost and I need you to save me. 
Forgive me of my sins and come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my soul. Now I want to live the rest of my life serving you. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer in faith and asked the Lord to save you, I want to be the first to tell you that you're saved and that you're on your way to heaven if you prayed that prayer in faith and believed and asked God. We'd like to hear from you. You can contact us at thecrusaders-ministries.com. You can find us on Facebook, send us a message, or give me a call, 870-904-3118. We'd like to find out where you're at and get you involved in a local church, try to help you start your walk with Jesus Christ in a positive way. But we're excited what God has done, and we look forward to hearing from you. And if you'd like to partner with the Crusaders, you can become uh, a seed partner by sowing a seed and meeting a need. We're a 501c3. We're a nonprofit organization. You can go to our website, thecrusaders-ministries.com, and you can give safe and secure there. You can give a one-time tax deductible donation, or you can set it up to do monthly, and it can just come straight out of your account. Whatever it is that God has placed upon your heart, I pray you'd be faithful to do that. And, of course, if you have any questions or concerns, you can contact me, David, at 870-904-3118. Thank you again for watching this service, and I pray it was a blessing to you. And God bless you.